Oh my your general, all those general hospital fans out there, I know you guys are still tuning in because Nancy Lee Gron is here who plays Alexis Davis. That's right. And you know, on the show, she has lung cancer, what is going to happen to her, and she's here to give us the scoop on some behind the scenes. That would be really And weird. her daughter is here today you with us. Yeah. Daughter, she is yeah. a mommy, and her daughter is so cute, and they're all here, and uh, we're going to talk to Nancy Lee Gron about the yeah, show and her yeah. life. And we're also going to have our numbers read, our charts read by a numerologist to oh. find out uh, all kinds of stuff about us that even we didn't know. Yep. So it's going to be a fun, fun show coming up. Okay, so Wait. let's get to the show. Let's like I was saying about Nancy, you know her as the sexy, strong, and brilliant attorney, um, Alexis Davis on General Hospital, who was recently diagnosed with lung cancer on the show, and it was shocking news. I'm sorry, what? What do you need? Oh, well, I need uh, a lot of things. Um... Make a list of the people that need to know about this, and um, what else? Um, oh yeah, I've got to uh, train somebody here to do that, and of course the Alexis, insurance companies have to be called. What you could tell your assistant to do? I'm asking you, Alexis. What do you need? At the moment, I've gotten over the initial shock, so I'm fine. No. It's okay. Don't touch it's me. Okay. Don't do it's okay. I don't it's want to okay. be held it's right okay. now. It's not okay. None of it's okay. It's, it's not okay. fair. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be okay. I'm sorry. Okay. In real life, the actress is here with us yes, right she now. She plays, like we said, Alexis Davis. Nancy Lee Brown, she's been at General Hospital for 10 years. Ten years. And she has a cute daughter we met, 8 <laughs> years old. Thank you. Thank and you, thank thanks you. for being us. Happy birthday. Show. Oh, thank you so much. Still a couple days away. Yeah. Great. Up now. So we also <laughs> hear you might be pursuing other interests like writing. You're oh, doing a lot. Well, you I, I'm not a writer. I just write. I mean, you know, well, I, I'm not pursuing it as a career, but I am. Right. I'm writing lots of different things. It's right interesting now. that you so, have time to even pursue that with all that you do. I mean, you're, you've got this huge career going, so that I, must be busy. It does. Or a mom. It that does. Must be busy. You know, but we are multitaskers, aren't we? We're yeah, the we ones are that can, we can. I right. have, and case in school now, and so I have, and our schedule at work is so great. I mean, I I may not I may work maybe six hours on a on a on a long day, and I have all this extra energy and extra time now to sort of do some of the things that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I am I'm I'm writing a book. I wrote a children's uh, story, and wow. I'm starting. We're starting a uh, show um, on my website. So we're gonna, wow. it's going to be called Older Lonely Girl. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you a lonely girl? No, 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 no. But I mean, we are. I mean, my my friends who are very successful. One's a very successful sitcom writer, and uh, one is a successful sitcom producer. Are, are we're we're going to be doing a show on that's website? Fantastic. So, yeah. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And what is it really going to be called? Do you know yet? I don't. Oh, that Nancy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Do you have time for yourself ever? Because I know you say you only work six hours a day, but you're a full-time mommy. Yeah. You're dabbling in writing. You have this website. I mean, you know what it is? I get up. I take Kate to school. I will literally sit down now at the computer, and I just learned to type, and I just learned to, you know, go beyond my email so I can go on Word and actually type. And it's all grammatically horrible, and there's no margins where they're supposed to well, be. You're doing it. <laughs> but I have friends to fix that for me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just, I, I, because I love it. I'm drawn to the to things that I, I that I have pa a passion for. My child, obviously, the soap, I, my acting, and this this writing thing is fun for me now. So I'm just it's amazed not work. At how you get to do it all. I, you know, it's like a cliche now. Women who have it all, but you have this very successful and demanding career, and you are raising Kate alone. Yes. Uh, what, how challenging is that? You make you know it something? seem like it's a breeze. I, I, it's not, and it is a yeah. breeze, because what's difficult is for the single mother who doesn't make the income that I make and doesn't have the nanny yeah. at home to help and doesn't have the, the friends around to assist me. And, uh, you know, I'm spoiled rotten I mean, in the way that I see it, and I'm very grateful for that, but it's not hard. It's it's What's hard is when you're a full-time parent and you have to work and you can't afford, you know, to put gas in your car, let alone get a nanny. The, that, that, that's a tough 
that's a tough thing. You're also involved with an organization called CASA. Yes. What's that? Yes, it's um, it's court advocates, uh, it's court appointed special advocates, uh -huh. and I'm speaking um, at a convention in Las Vegas, October 16th, and it's a it, it, you should check it out. People should check it out on the web because I hadn't heard about it before this. So I was involved in in court, in family court for the last four years, which mm -hmm. was a you know it's very anguishing for anyone who's been in it, mm -hmm. and there I, I think that there's a lot of holes in the system and what these are they're they're court they're volunteers they're civilians that don't have a court agenda that assist oh. uh, the children mostly from abused homes and dealing with children's court a lot and what I'm speaking to them about on the 16th is to try to incorporate CASA volunteers into the family court system. Wow, that's great that they have that resource. That's wonderful. Yeah, oh, it's a wonderful program. Yeah. Well, we also want to talk about your character and what's yeah. going on with her. Yeah. And we're like in suspense. <laughs> is Alexis Davis going to survive this? And what's going to happen to her kids? Right. I mean, Sunny. I mean, all this stuff is involved. Nancy Lee Grodd when we return. I scared the girls. I don't think they understand. It's only goodbye if you let it be. Please, 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 please promise me, please, that you will let them stay with Rick and Sam and you let the girls stay together. Sonny, promise me. I promise. Do you oh. think Sonny is sincere? <laughs> Every time I see these clips, every talk show that I've ever on, from now on, I am picking my own clip. They show Why? the biggest strum and drum kind of... Well, you're a great actress. It's not into that. I mean, they, they think it's the almost real. You find those more subtle moments, though, when you take it out of context. Well, that's what's happening oh. on the show right now. You've been diagnosed with lung cancer. Are you going to pull out of this? It depends if I behave or not, because I think they're holding this over my head. <laughs> I'm a little outspoken on occasion, and I have stage two, which the survival rate is a little better with stage two. And whenever I act out or go, I don't know if she'd say this, and maybe we could change this line, I hear stage four over the, you know, speaker. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, though, your character has lung cancer, and in yeah. real life, you are a campaigning anti-smoking. Well, I work with the Lung Association as well, and the American Cancer Society, on behalf of my father who died of emphysema uh, not cancer but uh, a lung disease and my father was ironically a an addictions counselor and a non-smoking advocate so I think he's from heaven has orchestrated this uh, soapbox yeah. for me to continue his crusade to encourage people lovingly to not smoke well, because 87% uh, of, of uh, lung cancer is caused by smoking. Wow. So. I do want to ask you about the character again, though. Mm -hmm. it, there's so much going on. Now, your ex-husband, Rick, had a one-night stand with your long-lost daughter, Sam. Oh, Here's husband. what happened. I, 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 I come husband. home, la, 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 la. I look in the window, and my husband is having sex with my daughter. Right. And then I don't deal with it right away because I was so shocked that I start coughing. I go to the hospital, and they tell me I have lung cancer. <laughs> so I'm oh, thinking, bad mm -hmm. day. <laughs> Not a good day. No, no. Oh. Okay. Now they don't know their characters in the in the in the show don't know that you know that. They no, they don't know. Okay. No, they, they don't know, know that she but knows. But they that should she stay tuned for right. in about three or four weeks. They're both going to get it. And yet, Alexis oh, yeah. wants them to raise her daughters. I can't explain that. I'm just paid to say that. Well, I cannot. Sunny, I don't. No, you know what? There's other choices. There's a lot of other nice characters on the show that can raise my child. I have no idea why I want the, my children to be raised by these. People. Naughty people. <laughs> well, can yeah. you give us any other tidbits on the show? I can't believe you only work six hours a day sometimes. I well, think you guys have crazy, crazy hours. Isn't that hours. just terrible? They, people say that because they, you know, it's a draw. They want to have everyone's dramatic. Right. No, it used to be. I, when I was on Santa Barbara, I used to work 16 hours every day, five days a week. Yeah. And, and now they've changed the schedules, and it's, oh, it's a... It's a dream job. It's yeah. a dream job. It's a great family on General Hospital. Too. We are all such good friends, and we all know each other so well, mm -hmm. and the crew, and the directors, and the producers, and the writers. We all, you know, because you're there for a long time. What other yeah. job lasts as long as these soap We've had other so. characters from the show on, as you probably know, and they yeah. talk about this, yeah. this family thing and, and the enduring careers they've had on the show. Yeah, some It's years. the most longevity you can have, you know? I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's sometimes you, you're compromised by the limitations of having to put on an hour 
show a day. So you kind of, you know, wish that, you know, that you, you, they had the three-month prep to, before your scene. But, you know, aside from that, it's the best job in television. Well, Nancy, you've besides got... Besides this. this is besides this, job. this is pretty neat, too. It's you've allowed us job. to get uh, personal with you, so we're going to ask yeah. you to continue that. Stick around for the next segment, if you will. We're going to do some numerology. That's and we good. want you to do that with us. Uh, yes. So what's in a name or a birth date? Maybe more than you think. It might help you make better decisions and improve your relationships. And Nancy's sticking around to find out how, so you should too. Okay, what do our names and birth dates tell us about our personalities, desires, and destinies? And how do we use this information to our advantage? Well, our <laughs> next guest has some answers. She is an author and self-described life coach who uses numerology to empower her clients and help them make sound decisions. Welcome, Carol Adrian. Carol, great to have you with us. As you've noticed, we've kept Nancy here with us. And we got our chart. Oh, I'll bet. Now, we didn't want to say everything on TV. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> but before we talk about our charts, I just want to ask you, what is numerology and how does it how does it work? Right. Well, it's a system similar to astrology. It's been around for thousands of years, and basically, it takes your name and birth date and does a bunch of calculations on it and lets you know who you are and what your destiny is and what you came here to do. So I see it as like a blueprint for people. You know, there is a design to your life. It isn't just random. And so. It provides us this blueprint and is it designed to help us with our relationships right. and life and things? Right. Okay. Well, as a life coach, people come to me for a variety of things. You know, they're usually, you know, anxious about something or fearful about making a new decision. And a lot of times it's, should I divorce my husband or should I get married? And so I take a look at everything and I help them see who they are and then take into account who the other person is. Because, you know, we think everybody's just like us and they are not. Right. Well, I mean, I learned I've that. I've discovered that, by the way. <laughs> so, You've done our choice, the three of us. Yeah. Right. We're using our full names and our... Birth names? Right. Birth. Right. right. I'm okay. using your birth names. That's important. Your full because birth name. who right. you were born is really setting the stage for your destiny. Okay. okay. So we have something on the screen I think we're going to show. But yeah. basically starting with Janelle, you have an excellent, and I, I know you know this already, but There's you have an excellent ability to broadcast. You see the fives in the middle of that chart. That is the mouth of the chart. I'm a big five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. You have the line of communication with a lot of ability to be flexible, adaptable, quick on your feet. And I'm sure you learn in the moment. Because with this kind of job, you have to be very quick mm. in t touch with trends and, you know, really be able to be okay. curious about lots of different things and eclectic. So yeah. that's good. That's good. good. I'm yeah. happy. Okay. Now, you okay. can also see timing information on this, which isn't on the screen. But I'm looking at your chart here and some of the aspects for the next few years. And I would say your career aspects are great. Oh, you really have to should change. You should be <laughs> Making money and investing it. Oh, okay. I'm holding don't throw it away. Hotels. <laughs> you, have, you don't have any eights in your chart. You might tend to just want to spend, spend, spend. But you, you this is a good time for you to sock things okay. away. Okay, okay. But you've got really good uh, career people. aspects at a high corporate level for a long time. Well, thank right. you, Carol. Let's okay, just talk now. Me. Yeah, and you, you, you. Well, um, now both of you are very much in terms of the communicator. You have equal strength wow. in that. Yeah. But we see with Spencer, there's a little bit more. Uh, balance and that four gives you a little bit more of the of a ability to be more methodical, practical, and grounded. And your name Spencer is an excellent name for you. Ah. It's an eight. And even I know you said you sometimes use Spence as a it's nickname. A, really, though, Either way, Spencer. it's an yeah. eight. And so that's excellent because you're actually your lifetime goal, your realization number is to have money, power, authority, and recognition. And that's that one name really sums up everything. Wow, so I'm moving so in the right very, direction. It's then. a very good time. And <laughs> looking at your, your like influences for right now, yeah. there's a, this is time for you to really kind of go up another level in visibility. And I don't know what you've been doing you know, up till now, but you're in a one, which is very good for renting new ideas, wow. being in front of the public. And you know, you're both in a similar way. So when we talk about working together, you're on a similar track, and okay. you're complimentary. That's I would cool. say. She's got a bigger five than you. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a bigger five. You're so. probably a bigger one than nine. <laughs> oh, no. well, She's got a number in nine. Let's go to Nancy. <laughs> well, then Nancy has a great chart, but hers is a little different. If you look at the grid, it's the line of fame. So you can see oh. hers goes the other direction, and that's a classic line for somebody who's really in the public eye with a you know special talent or 
you know, like an actress, perhaps a writer. So I was glad to hear that you're interested wow. in writing. Wow. And you want to see there, but she has the seven and eight and nine line, very strongly aspected, which is worldly influence. So I think that it's a good time for you right now to reach out to people and get your message across. I really think that that is, yeah. a, your, this is a perfect time for you to do With your anti spoke And that's, that's, that's Kaisa, all that's Kaisa. 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 Kais